Hey everybody, what's up? Can you hear me? Is the mic on? Check. Yeah. Hello. You guys like the the background? And everybody's here. I wasn't paying attention to chat. Hi everybody. Hey Justin. Ah, cool. I almost dropped this beer. Hold on, here. Here we go. Ready everybody? Oh my gosh. Yes. Cheers everybody. It's freaking noon, so... Cheers. What drinking? This is a, uh... This is the classic, folks. The elevated IPA- Oh, you can- Oh, wow, there's some green in it. That's fun. This is the New Mexico classic beer, you know? Not crack? No, not a, not a crack. Nope. Oh, you're talking about the crack of the can. Yeah, okay. But also, you know, Albuquerque is also known for that. Eh. Um, how is everybody doing? Hey, hey, James? Aaron? What's up? It's Friday, baby. Let's go. I love when it's Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. Shoe Gazelle, Isaac, Peanut Butter Toast Guy. Peanut Butter Toast Guy, you, you are around. I love it. Evan, David. Oh, Shannon. Hello, Shannon. Oscar. Not Tyler. Great. We're doing great. Look, the chat is on the screen. Incredible. Amazing. So, we're listening to, uh, the recording from yesterday. This is it. This is what we're hearing. There's Ken. Hey, Ken. Yeah, it's Friday, everybody. Cheers. It was a Friday stream. Hey, Nicole. I got some salad again, too. Oh, you missed yesterday's stream? Well, then you're not going to understand anything that's going on. I'm sorry. But you should probably go back, stop this, go back and watch the two and a half hours, probably watch it at half speed so it all sinks in, you know? And then, uh, then you can watch this. Yeah. Oh, Ken, really? Okay, I gotta check my DMs. Damn it, okay. Okay, that's fun. So schedule an unboxing on Friday. That'll, so Ken, Ken in chat, K Shep there has sent me a a package that will include uh another matrice. Another one of these. So I can use two of them. But also apparently more things that he hasn't told me. Mm-hmm. Salad and beer, Friday lunch. See sa a salad and an IPA just like uh cancels itself out, I think. I think, right? No one correct me if I'm wrong. Spare blooper lying around? Oh yeah, Ken. We already talked about this, but Ken is that guy from, um, wow, sorry. From that new I Think You Should Leave sketch with, um, with what's his face? Where he's like, hey, you gotta have two, I got two of every car. You know? Pretty funny. Why can't I remember who that was? Oh, that was Bob Odenkirk. Most of you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. More power supplies. Oh, yeah. Blopper. Ken, this, Ken said blopper. My man said blopper in chat. It's alright, it's Friday, I'll let it slide. Yeah, it's an incredible show. See Dirk knows. I think the second season really... really nailed it. Um... So what we're gonna do today is uh, do more on this. That we're listening to. I wanna tr I wanna mess with adding another layer on top. But if that doesn't work, then maybe I'll start, or like, arranging something.
All right. I forgot that, Ken. Yeah, that blooper is the one that was given away in the Discord. Hey, Matt. Guitar, John. My wife and I are going back. We're watching Breaking Bad again right now. And it's really weird as someone who's lived in Albuquerque since before that. Very strange to watch the show that way. Yeah, remember when the temporary studio setup was in a wardrobe last year? Yeah. I was in my master master bedroom closet. These are your favorite streams by far, Matt? Well, that's cool. That's cool. One thing I just figured out, by the way, the, uh, the, like, little sponsor thing that's happening above my head over there. So it's Chase Bliss and, like, all the alerts now. I didn't realize they were set to a wrong FPS. So they're set to 60 now, and it just looks nicer. Can't spell fart without art. Hey. That is so true. And how true is that in our own lives? Breaking Bad is so good. It's so brutal, though. It's dark. And wa watching it again, I'm like... I don't have a hero thing for Walt anymore, you know? Like, Walt is just plainly... Terrible on more rewatches. You know? Doesn't Bob Odenkirk live here now? The lady that owns the house is TikTok famous now? Is it because she's she's a grump, right? Because she's she's got like security out there and stuff, right? Skylar is Skylar and Jesse are the heroes, yeah. Really surprising sequel to Malcolm in the Middle. Yeah, yeah. All these gritty reboots and stuff, you know? It went a little overboard. What key were we in? I think it was F sharp. Yeah. Alright, let me see if I can get some signal through this. Yeah, well, well, definitely not the hero. I mean, not that there was like, whatever. We don't need to go into it. All right, how do I get sound out of my rig, folks? Turn volume up here. Oh, there's, there we go. There we go, we got it. I wanna just reset everything. Compressor's hitting pretty hard. Alright. It's kind of dirty. Uh. Stereo delay. Oh. Why isn't this. There we go. Sorry, I'm just getting everything set up. Kind of, kind of, kind of. still has some loop in it. I don't even want to remember what it was. I'm just gonna erase it. So does mood. Hey, you guys want to hear what a what a oh you, I should switch to this. You guys want to hear? Oh no, I'm just I. I looked at mood and I thought the green light was on the right, which meant there would have been a sample stuck in there from yesterday. Would have been fun to see what it sounded like after like 24 hours. But no, I don't actually have that for you. Sorry. Um, mood is still doing the octave up reverse.
Yeah. Okay. It's all working, folks. We love when, when the rigs work, huh? Ain't that cool? No spoilers? Yes, yeah, Skinny Pete and Badger are the VIPs. I agree with that one. Hard agree with that. But it's all, it's very weird because there's scenes that are like at my high school. And I, you know, I went to that car wash a lot before the show. For many years. It's been here a long time. So that's what's weird. For me specifically. Not bad. Alright, we were in... What was I saying? F-sharp. I'm just gonna play this a little bit. Is Bogdan actually a terrible boss? I was so sad to see that after graduation, Landry Clark moved from Dillon to Albuquerque and went to work for Vomino's Pez like that. <laughs> Oh boy. I feel like I want to get... I don't remember what the maximum length is. Oh, someone will probably know in chat if I ask this. So I'm, I'm at 48k on the boomerang, so I'm sacrificing loop length for fidelity. What, what, what's my max loop length right now on the boomerang? Does anyone know off the top of their heads or feel like uh, manual diving? Because the the funny thing about that tiny ditto looper is that it was a five minute loop length, which is really cool. I've been in drop D this whole time. I think I'm going to go up to standard. Mike is up for MVP? Yeah. Yeah, we were... Mike just showed up in our rewatch, like, last night. Mike Ermintrout. How about that name, huh? Stereo loop at 4K, 4.5 minutes? Matt Trevor with that info. Oh, and Ken says the manual's sitting right next to you. Well, Matt beat you. Four and a half minutes, that's really good. I thought it was less than that, but that's, that's really good. What mods am I using on the blooper? So, I'm still using the setup from yesterday where it's uh, A, A is filter, and B is uh, quant, quantize pit, quantize pitch. Oh, here's Ken, here's Ken. This is like the train versus horse scenario. Ken's over there flipping through a, a physical booklet, and Matt's over there on Google. It seems like Google won. 24-bit recording playing at half speed in mono, 35 minutes. All right, Ken's going to give us the full rundown. I can't wait. like a 90s minor over major thing. That's so 90s. You find step speed and filter are the most usable? Is it? That's what I said, right? Quant quantize step speed? Yeah. Those, yeah, those are the most like... Utilitarian? That makes it sound worse than it is, whatever. 
Ken, don't make us do math. Don't be like, oh, you can just figure it out. You just multiply two numbers together. What I... What do you think? I'm not here to do math, all right? I'm not still in drop D, no. I just, drop D is fun, that's all. I feel like uh, it would be cool to play some stuff into the boomerang really high up on the fretboard and then go half time with it. So it would still be at a somewhat high frequency. Might just noodle around. Oh my god. I'm in F sharp major. Gotta remember. Where's my slide? Man, someone should make a super cutter every time I said, Where, where's my slide? And it's just like right in front of me. Oh. Oh, I just got invited over to a friend's house for lunch. I'm streaming though. Crap. I'm working. Yeah, I was not aware there'd be math on the stream. Needed a trigger warning. <laughs> That's it's not it's not funny, okay? Oh. Ooh. Can't F sharp major, Andy. You can do it. All right, I'm just going to Man, I'm gonna do the thing I, I haven't done this in a million years. Uh, I'm just gonna hit record on loop one. Well, I'm gonna turn my guitar. Yeah. Record on loop one. I'm gonna arm it <clears throat> for stacking. No, I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna let it do a full... I think I'll be in better shape if I just do a blank loop here in the boomerang. That's what I'm gonna do. Hey, Dave! Dave, what are you doing? What are you up to? From meth to math in no time. I said, hey, there's a, there's a, you ever heard of the meth to math pipeline? Or the, hey, in, in Walter White's case, it was, it was math to meth. I mean, there's a lot of math and chemistry. That kind of works, right? This is math class. Folks, welcome to math class. I am your instructor, Andy Offlin. Here, we're going to do math, all right, folks? We're gonna do some math. Hold on. <laughs> I just wanted to blow up the stream for a second. Um, sorry if that disturbed anybody. Sorry. I can't, you know. Flavor blasted raising cane. Have I messed with the baritone guitar much? I mean... Yeah, I love that thing. You guys want to hear my favorite thing I've ever done with the baritone? You want to hear my favorite riff I've ever written? Watch. Turn this crap off. Turn this ambient stuff off. So this is this is literally my my band, okay, Archibald, where I play it. You want to hear the baritone from the 2018 Carcosa EP? Watch. Don't try to carry the weight of the world; it will crush you. Yeah, you can hear that. Carrying your own heart can be heavy enough. There isn't a dark thought <laughs> you've had that hasn't been had before. Outside the door last night, I saw the darkness creep in, trying to swallow. That's not the baritone, actually, right there. Covered in ink. I think I saw it creeping in over the door jam, pulling into the room, making us feel like a bull. Here, here it comes, ready? I won't let us sink. Ready? Not just yet. I'll fight that demon for the both of us. Well, I still got strength left on. Copyright strike against myself? Against myself? No. No. 
just major minor on that B, that low B. This is that baritone, man. Oh, wait. Explicit language, folks. Uh oh. This riff is my favorite riff I've ever written right here. It's like if Jimmy Eat World was heavier or something. It's like Jimmy Eat World plus thrice, in a way. <laughs> Can, yeah. Uh, a little bit. Where the heck am I? What are you saying? Anyway, that's all I wanted to do is show off the baritone riff. That's all. That's all. Oh, that's the... Oh, yeah, I don't listen to the lyrics. I don't know what the lyrics are for most of these songs, except when... You know. They're, they're real big ones. Anyway, I wanna, I gotta play, I gotta do this. This is what we're here for. Right? Right? I don't even have a pick. I haven't had a pick in like, a week. Cause who cares? Doesn't matter. Oh, I'm recording, wait, hold on. I forgot what I was doing, I was recording a blank loop. Folks, we're doing fine. So I'm gonna press this, and then that. And now I'm stacking, right? Now I am, I believe. So I've got five minutes here, four and a half minutes. Oh, Dave, that is great. Yes, great plan. Folks, we're recording into the boomerang, okay? Didn't Reverb Andy make picks obsolete? Yeah, other Andy. I, I don't have a pick because I'm not prepared. Oh yeah, I gotta stay at a higher register. Sounds pretty good. Can you make a little thing explaining the YouTube clips that I can clip and put on IG later? Yes. Yeah, I meant to do that the other day, huh? But then I didn't. Yes. Thank you for the reminder. By the way, the, the repeats you're hearing is a mood as a delay. Or no, 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 mood in slip mode doing octave up reverse delay into the gen loss. Doing the warble, warble. Everyone say bye to Dave. This would sound really cool if you had a pick. No, it wouldn't, Joel Nice. No. Stop saying that. I don't know where a pick is right now. I'm bi I'm I'm busy. I don't have time.
Higher register. Gotta remember. What if I'm actually just not recording and I don't know it because I forget how the boomerang works? I'm I'm pretty sure I am though. But I won't know for like four and a half minutes, which is very funny. Ugh. Folks! Did you hear that note? I didn't want that one. Sunlight expected delivery Friday the 3rd. Ooh, that's spooky. Ooh, Friday the 3rd. That's unlucky. F's in, F's in chat for that note. So what? I should be able to hear the first stuff I played, right? Maybe? Oh, you guys aren't looking at the board. I'm sorry. Yeah, there it is. See, there's the loop. It was working. I just messed it up. That's a fail, folks. I don't want a sunlight battle because I like to sound in tune all the time. I'm telling you, man. It's a big scam. They're selling you. They're selling you the disease and the cure. They're selling you tuner pedals. Right here, they're like, oh, you can get your pitch all up to, up to real low. You get it perfect, man. You play a chord, it all sounds great. And then you get these pedals like the sunlight from old blood noise, and they're like, oh, yeah, I see your pitch. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna like move it around a little bit. I'm gonna change. I'm gonna that perfect thing you spent tuning your guitar. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it and pull it down. Not a bit, Justin. I can't believe these companies out here messing with my pitch. You know, I got locking tuners on my guitar, and then this pedal comes along and is like, like for what? Yeah, put your tuner after your sunlight pedal. You got, yeah. Joel, that's it. You got it. Janice says tuning is overrated. Now, I don't know. We're gonna hear the bad note again. Um, hopefully, hopefully it's uh, good to see me screw up because you know, it happens. What was I just gonna do? Studio mode? I was gonna go to the chat and see if I can make the chat 60 FPS like I did the other things. This custom frame rate. Yeah. 60 FPS chat. Let's go. I think. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah, that's better. I can tell already. No, not si no, not 69 FPS. Don't say that, Justin. This is a family uh, friendly stream. Hey, thanks, Hellfrog. Let's FPS and go. Yeah. All right, I don't even want I don't even want to hear the loop. It's about to happen though. Should we hear the should we hear the wrong note again? It's about to happen. It's about to happen. Yeah. There it was. Yeah. That was it, folks. Um, so I'm gonna do it again. Whoops. Okay. It's not wrong, it's dissonant. Okay, no, you're doing a good peanut butter toast guy. You're doing a good therapy thing, which is 
which is take an observer stance rather than a judgment stance, you know? That, that note, indeed, you're correct. That note was not wrong. And putting that sort of judgment on it really negatively impacts our lives, you know? Dissonant is the correct uh, explanation of it and carries less judgment. So hats off to you. Thank you for, hey, send me a bill for that uh, therapy. Thank you. Just kidding. I don't have I don't have a uh, money for that. So, 1080 quick scope ambient guitar. <laughs> yeah. Is there an? Yeah, there is an undo option on the boomerang. So, yeah. For the for those of you who don't know, the boomerang is a great looper and has all these different functions. So I know you can't see it all the way, but this circle here has all these different things. And one of them is indeed undo, number eight there. But the boomerang by itself, you have to choose four um, modifiers. The notes looping back around is something else. Yeah, probably. Anyway, I should have another blank, blank loop here. So I could give up a one modifier on Boomerang to have undo. But the three, the, the four modifiers I have are reverse, octave, erase, and stack. So those all feel pretty important to me more than uh, undo. So, that's my real answer. Has it been four and a half minutes again? Folks, this is ambient. This is, uh, you do a lot of sitting around. Oh, I, I hear that, Ken. That's in the recording. So that's in this. Somewhere. But I do hear that. I hear that as well. Unless, wait. Yeah, there's nothing else going on. Sounds like Interstellar. I'll take that. Alright, I can probably start... Playing, right? I think. F sharp major. Okay, folks. We can do it. We can do it. We can play the right notes. There's one note. We nailed one. It's a good start to nail the one, the first note. Oh, I gotta stay in a higher register. I forgot my initial plan. See how, see how ambient is the same as Fortnite? Is the same as gaming? It's like you just go, oh, GG's. Try it, you gotta go again. Back to lobby. If only I had an undo. The problem is that was one thing. I can't undo the one note, I gotta undo the, which is what I just did, you know, same thing. You feel me? All right, I, I'm just going for it this time. I, screw waiting for the, 
the loop. All right, I think we're good. Come on, third time's a charm. <laughs> Equal versus true temperament, okay. playing a little more busy than I normally would because I know I'm gonna half time it like this feels a little almost like solo -y to me or something but it's not gonna be like this <laughs> Bro, quit shredding. I'm, I'm just going too fast for you guys, you know? I know that's why you guys come here for the shredding. messed up yet. I played a wrong note, but I didn't swell the thing up. Whew. Disaster averted. All right, what? So whatever this is doing. Okay, so I think I'm still stacking. I'm gonna wait till I hear some playing to make sure. We came here for the Pantera. God, I came, Pantera's so good. I was listening yesterday. Yeah. All right, sorry. So we're still stacking. And like, how much do I want to add to this? I don't really know. But again, since I'm gonna go halftime, it's probably okay. I'll try to do some slide stuff.
Ooh, that's cool. Oh, that was the that's in the recording from yesterday. That's probably gonna be it. All right. No more stack. All right. That's it. I don't want to play guitar anymore. I'm done. We got enough. down now. Alright, let me turn the track off. Here. Here's this by itself. There's a gap. There's a gap, huh? Hello? You gotta play the sounds that I, that I put in you. Wow. I think eventually it'll... Yeah. There we go. <laughs> wow, that's kind of cool. Emptier than I thought it was going to be. I don't. Oh, whoops. There's what an El Capistan loop sounds like when it's been going for 24 hours. Fun fact. Wait. Why is there so little in here? Okay. <laughs> Not quite my tempo. So I turned on the Capistan looper. Um, so it'll just kind of repeat this loop again. Like, over time. It's going to kind of fill in any gaps. Why is there so Cody? Cody.
All right, I'm gonna try reverse. You always gotta try reverse. Wait. Oh no, octave. There's reverse. Oh, and you're still here in the Kapistan loop, kind of repeating it. Hey, Tolston. What's going on? Let's hear how this sounds with the bass thing from yesterday going. I need to get a scene going where there's both the pedal board and the desktop. I don't have that yet. I just have this. So this is what's playing underneath. And then these two. Let's see what sunlight can do. Ooh, I'm gonna try the the pass mode on sunlight. Let's see what what it can do. No dry, no dry signal. I'm tired of it. Is this one of those gaps? Oh. That's something, huh? That's pretty sick. Woo! That's bright. And here we have one nice calm boy in his natural habitat. He is a nocturnal creature, and uses echolocation in the form of ambient drones to locate his slide. He is a major shredder ready to flavor blast your ears off. FFFFF. <laughs> Peanut Butter Toast Guy, thank you for the $20. Was that doubled for you guys for some reason? The audio? On the Texas Beach? It was for me, but I don't know if it was for you. Thank you, Peanut Butter Toast Guy. <laughs> it was doubled? Okay. I guess that's better than it... ...not being heard. I don't know why... I don't know why, though. Oh, it's so bright.
It's so busy too. I don't know. Make it noisier. <laughs> I hit a solid dimension C button two doubling on it. Wow. Wow. That's that's nice. How about I don't send it through mood at all? I just send it through gen loss. Right? Isn't that what's happening? Oh wait, but my dry signal's not coming through. What is it even hearing? It gets confusing sometimes, folks. I feel like I have to I have to fill in this space in the loop, right? Like I can't just have this much space. Or maybe I can, I don't know. Maybe I should chill. Yeah, Trent, the generation loss is awesome. Although I, as much as I love this one, I will say the the new the Cooper V2 one just seems to be better. From what I can, from what I can tell from a distance, seems really cool. I'm gonna pause this so I can just hear what the pedal board's doing. What if I sent, all right, what if I sent mood into blooper now, so the green knobs are sending to blooper, so I believe it would be this knob, sending from mood to blooper, and let's see if we can get it to go, I'm going to do something crazy and try a fifth up. It probably won't work, but I'm going to give it a shot. Like a long delay, so I'm going to tap looper. I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to wait, actually. I'm going to let it do the full length, actually. I'm not even going to tap it again. Screw it. Oh, absolutely, Sean. That's what's so hard about it. I mean, I'm sure all of us would agree, like, any, any ambient music that doesn't really tickle you or connect with you, it's probably because there's too much happening. Wouldn't you say? Alright, did we get something in blooper? Yeah, yeah. So that's blooper. All we're hearing is blooper. So let's do a... Uh, Wait, hello? Why did you... Why? Oh, because I reversed it? Wait. Uh, hello? Yo. That's the... Wait, so, oh, I'm I'm sweeping something. I forgot. Yeah, there we go. Gotta check your dip switches, folks. Hey, thanks for hanging out, Matt. Why does it turn off when I turn on the sound card? Mm, I'm gonna restart Blooper. 
just uh, hit record. Do it again. If your pedal if your pedal board doesn't confuse you still every now and then, then is it really even a pedal board? Yeah. What 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 fun is something that you that you have complete control of or understand fully? That's no fun. Okay, so bloopers actually listening now. Like, yeah, we. Should, I was gonna say we should hear sound eventually without me doing anything, and there it is. So that might be a. Fifth? Let me let me play the backing thing. Oh no, that's not a fifth. Oh no, it's not even on. So let me turn the modifier on now. Why doesn't it like that? Why doesn't it like when I turn that modifier on? That's weird. And I am sending mood to blooper. And mood is being sent the dry signal. So... So that's what the output of mood is right here. And I'm sending it to blooper with this knob. And then we should hear the out output of that here. But why aren't we? That's something. What is Oh, that's the un unquantized pitch. That works. Alright, I'm gonna make the loop shorter. Erase. Turn off. Normal. I'm sending. Okay, mood. Still sounds like something. I think. Boost the volume. Sending two blooper. Record well up the input. I'm not gonna make it too long though. Stop record. Oh, stop recording. It's okay. Yeah, it's gonna auto stack. There we go. This is what I was trying to do. Sorry. This is what I was looking for. Now, does this work over the thing? Uh... I've still got the cabbage down going too, that might be adding too much. I'm pretty into this actually. Should it be lower? I mean, 
that's nice, huh? thing too is I could add I can add sunlight and T120 and stuff in between all this let's see I'll bring the sunlight in whoa wow what is it wait hold on I'm pausing the back backing thing Oh, I forgot I was doing the, the pass mode. I just went an octave up. Huh. I should darken it in a little bit, what I just did. CXM. Oh, kind of gnarly though, huh? kind of cool what does this feel like under the thing and of course now I think it's the gap the big gap might be pretty good actually what's cool about this is so there's a bunch of space in it I think it's close to the full four and a half minute loop time on the boomerang oh, and it's well it's an octave down I forgot so it's double so it's maybe close to eight minutes which is much longer than the span of the loop in the backing track so it'll provide some interesting movement to the whole thing you know Am I using real technical terms? <laughs> should I dumb it? Should I dumb it down for you guys? Hey folks, play play note, turn knob, Del delay up, reverb up. That's it.
I'm pretty into this. Like, do I realistically want any changes? Uh, Joseph, I'm I'm very aware of uh, Raichi Sakamoto. I think I think I said that almost right, maybe, but I've honestly not listened. I don't really put a lot of ambient music into my ears these days. So, that might come as a disappointment. But very aware of, of, uh, of him. Oh, we're, I'm rolling off a lot of treble at the Iridium, let's see. I was thinking of maybe making it less muddy. Here's, here's without the CXM. Here's Polyman. With a short delay. Hmm. I almost want to leave it mono. What can the microcosm do for us? This is just microcosm. Hey, Michael. So that's what microcosm is doing to this thing. You can mix it. What if I got... I, I, I normally don't do this kind of thing, folks, but I'm looking... <laughs> I'm going to put a small reverb on this. Check it out. So instead of instead of hall on CXM, I'm going to go to room. I'm going to go into room mode. Let's see. Lo-fi clock. So this is just the verb. That's just the verb. Lots of modulation. Ooh. That's pretty nice, huh? Oh, so Joseph, uh, you, you and I are kind of on the same level because uh, I love I love Fever three three three, and I love any new metal sort of comeback. I'm totally down with it. Which, by the way, uh, the, pretty much if you want to if you want to know what music I'm listening to, if I'm like alone and I'm like, wow, I'd love to turn on some music, I'm gonna do exclamation point brain in the chat, and you will see my. Uh, my playlist, my Spotify playlist that I listen to pretty much every day at uh, very loud volumes. Pretty good. Joseph, it sounds like you might be into it, potentially. I just went down an octave on blooper. <laughs> to be fair, Ken, it's the same for me. Uh, that's that's also what I rip off every time. Uh. 
Yeah, it gets a little, it gets a little nuts, huh? I might do the same thing I did yesterday, which is the, uh, the filter ramp on blooper. So I'll turn on mod A. And, and ramp. Mod A. Like that. And once it fall, yeah, okay, so. So now it'll kind of take itself in and out, you know? <laughs> Oh, Joseph, I, I've been recommended Era as well. Yeah, I just have I just have this thing for like I I love a good riff and breakdown and freaking fifty one fifty type tone or whatever. But my my criteria for that playlist is like there's got to be something that makes it feel like uh, just psychotic in some way. Like usually it's like a whammy guitar effect or something. Something that's just like taking the riff and just like strangling it and making it insane, you know? That's that new band, uh, Mouth Breather, that I'm obsessed with right now. They just... It's just chaos, you know? And that's what I love. This is pretty cool. See if I, uh, I could use the microcosm to do more octave up stuff. I don't know if I'll like it though. So this is just the microcosm. Is it just super low output right now or something? I'm gonna crank up the output on Matrice. Huh. Alright. Playing the track underneath. Uh, what is, in your opinion, the best starter pedal for those looking to get ambient and loop things and shift things around? Hmm. I mean, like, my, the answer for when I was coming up with this stuff was the DL4. The Line 6 DL4. Like, I think that's the, uh... The kind of baseline for this whole, like... Because to, to me, the, the basic manipulations you can do to a loop that are the best are reverse and octave, right? I mean, yeah, Ken, El Capistan is like my, like... You know, that the question was like, what's your desert island pedal? You can have one pedal. Like, that's just what I say. But it's not super user-friendly, but the DL4 is pretty straightforward in terms of its looper. So, like, I mean, that's my answer because that's however many years ago when... I mean, the DL4 was a big deal looper. It was one of the best. Still has some of the best features in terms of doing a continuous loop where you're stacking on top of yourself and you don't hear a gap. And the boomerang doesn't have that. The boomerang has 48k quality, stereo input output, three channels, all the all these effects. It still has a pop when you go back around. The DL4 doesn't. Anyway, that's my I don't know if that's even a hot take, but that's my take. 
DL4 can, yeah. It can, it can do it very well, Ken. Yeah. Like, you can do it so well that it's funny when other pedals can't do it well. So I'm like, I don't know. It's been there for a while, that ability. Okay, so I'm, I'm into... Well, I don't know what I'm into right here. I'm going to I'm going to change my gain staging when I'm sending between these pedals and bring it down a bit cuz I think it's just going a little too crazy. Maybe take some more low end out of the mood loop. Maybe? DL4 or Delay Lab by Vox. I've never played a Delay Lab. And I've certainly never seen as many Delay Labs on pedal boards as I have DL4s, you know? Why don't I use a DL4 now? Um, because... Um, the, the El Capistan, to me, is, is the one that replaces that for me. It can do the seamless sound-on-sound -sound looping with the addition of the generative uh, degradation, you know? And, and, I mean, the DL4 can do reverse. That's like the only thing it has over the Capistan, in my opinion. Uh, the Capistan and the DL4 both suffer from the ability to do stereo input and output, but not in the loop. The loop will sum to mono in both these pedals, or both DL4 and the El Capistan. So Michael, and I've said this a lot too, if your usage for the, the Capistan is the looper, um, You'll find that Volante, unfortunately, suffers from the exact same problem as the El Capistan, that the loop is summed to mono before it goes back out, even if you put in a stereo signal. That was why I was, uh, I was very interested in upgrading to the, uh, Volante, but once I found out that the loop still summed to mono, I was like... Don't need it then, I guess. That would have been kind of cool. Stereo... Loops kind of degenerating. Hey, while we're talking, I'm just gonna record. Like, why am I not? Like, what? What are we doing? So, I'm just gonna play this. I'm pretty happy with these sounds. It's got a lot of good movement. So I'm gonna create a new track. I'm just gonna freaking record it. Who cares? Have you messed with the Volante at all? So the only the only time I've messed like actually messed with it is uh is uh, at Nam. And like, I'm sure I'm sh I'm sure the delay sounds better than the El Capistan or, or it can do more or, or whatever. Maybe the stereo feels is better, sh whatever. But my primary usage for an El Capistan is the looper, and I don't think the Volante provided any improvements in that area. Yeah, and br so Brumata, it's only, it's only in the loop, the sound on sound loop, it won't come out, uh, stereo. Oh, hey, Seth, Seth, the old blood. So the, the Akai head rush, that was a big deal back in the days along with the DL4. It may have sort of predated the DL4, like, I know the guy from the album Leaf used an, uh, a head rush with his roads. Um, yeah, I feel like it, I, I never used a head rush though, but I know it was a big deal. Um, Seth says, so you opened up your L cap and changed the jumper to make the loop zero? No. 
So the the only the only change I have to do on an El Capistan to make it work the way I want is turn the buffer on. Because by default, um, the El Capistan comes in true bypass, which is like, you know, helpful, I guess. But that means you can't play on top of your loops. Like when you turn the bypass off, your loops go away. So yeah, anyone anyone wanting to use the El Capistan as a looper, and you're like, how, how does this work? This sucks, I hate it. It's probably because you're not in buffered bypass. Yeah, so Ken, or Seth, yeah, so... The jumper allows you to do stereo input. But like I said, you can stereo input to the El Capistan as much as you want. The loop will get some to mono and then come out dual mono, even if you're stereo out. Which is not, not really a problem to me, but if the Volante didn't have that limitation, I'd be more interested. Does that make sense? Oh, Colin says, only major upgrade, upgrade I can think of for Volante SOS is the reverse mode. Yeah. Yeah, because I remember when I bought my second El Capistan, which is actually this one. But uh, I had... It's like, okay, I'm going to use it as a looper, and it just it's like, oh shit, it doesn't work. Like, you have to put it in buffered bypass for it to work the way I want it to. No, Dave, I'm not gonna say it again, okay. Oh yeah, Deco can be stereo in- yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, the only thing that's not stereo is the loop. Like, even El Capistan, if you do stereo in and stereo out, it'll preserve your dry signal stereo. It'll pass that through fine. It'll provide a stereo modulation sort of thing in the tape sense, and that is nice. But the only- like I said, the- once the loop starts repeating, the sound on sound loop, then it goes, you'll hear it be mono. So it's, it's kind of a picky thing, but as someone who uses the looper primarily... Anyway, I remember when the first El Capistan came out and it didn't have the option to do stereo in. You know. People wanted that, they wanted stereo in and out. But, I don't know, they didn't seem to cater towards the looper in that, which is fine, I guess. <laughs> and yeah, Ken, Ken is, is right in chat, saying if you don't want the tape degradation and, and maybe a little more complicated, and don't mind a little more complicated workflow, the Echoes has a stereo sound on sound looper mode. Which is the Keeley, Keeley one. Yeah, hold on. Wait, do I have... Hold on. Yeah, I was very tempted by the echoes. Oh, you got an echoes recently? Seth? Yeah, I mean, this is one of those pedals that I... Maybe similar to El Capistan that, like... You know, it, it might have some weird ways that it works. But I bet if you really got to know it, you could do some cool stuff. And the fact that they packed it into a really small format is really neat. But yeah, the, the features of the Echoes are, are uh, fairly unique in terms of what the, the looper can do in the stereo aspect of it. You know? Yeah, I've only heard really good... I feel like as big as Keeley is, they're almost kind of still underrated, you know? Like, everyone knows Keeley, and everyone knows, like, the Keeley compressor, but... Like, it's, it's good stuff, you know? Michael says, I wasn't super happy with the World Wars R1 and D1, so I went ahead and sold them for the Source Audio Collider. As I'm a basic bitch with reverb and delay. I don't, I don't know much about the Source Audio stuff either, really. To be honest. Hey, Henry! I don't know, is it art? You guys have to answer that one, not me. I can't answer that one for you. Wait, hey, and don't... Also, by the way, we are recording music right now. We're doing art at this very second, see? Audio is being recorded. And this is what it sounds like. Oh, and actually, I'm gonna up this knob on blooper 
so that it sweeps the filter higher and it'll do like a high pass a little bit in its sweep. Okay, Ken, Ken with the, the, the absolute S tier info, which is sound on sound update for Echoes was in May 2020. If you have serial number 1800 or lower, you can send it in free for an update. Folks, this is like at a bar when someone's like, hey, hey, we got a, we got a, we got a Jeep Grand Cherokee outside with his lights on. If you had, if you, and like the guy, the guy who noticed it and like actually took the time to stand up and was like, hey, someone's battery is going to be dead. That's like, that's Ken in the chat, folks. That's Ken. Where else are you going to get that info? Serial number 1800 or lower. Send it in for free for an update, folks. Don't sleep on that. Hey, moon unit. No, so this is, this is, uh, no sunlight at all, actually. This is, uh, boomerang into, I mean, I, we got dry signal plus the T120, so T120, I guess. But then it's going into mood and then gem loss and then blooper is what's happening. Blooper's sweeping that, uh, filter and microcosm is doing some of those high sparkle dealios. What is your chain? Uh, what in your chain is introducing variability of sounds? Uh, so right now, Blooper is doing the filter sweep, so it's filtering this loop all the way in and out at, at a long interval, almost the longest interval I can on Blooper itself. And then by accident in this loop I record on Boomerang, there's like a minute long gap of silence, which is fun. So that's variability of sounds, in my opinion. Uh, and then... Pretty much the microcosm has a really long delay time. So the things it's responding to happened like quite a while ago. And I can't, between all those things, it... it uh, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, the... Perception of any repetition is gone. Does that make sense? Yeah, Munir, it kind of sounds like that. No, Mood is doing an octave up reverse delay. Oh no, it's just doing octave up. It's not even reverse. Now that I look at it. It's not reverse. In slip mode. And then Gen Loss is, is you know, war uh, making it all nice and lo-fi. And then via the Matrice, since I can route stuff in series or parallel, I routed it in series to the blooper, the blooper. And blooper is doing like an octave down reverse, plus a filter sweep on it. I don't know, there's a lot of stuff going on. So what is it right now? It's basically boomerang, T120, Matrice, mood, gem loss, blooper, uh, Matrice, uh, microcosm. That's, that's like the, or that's what's happening right now, basically. Can the old blood noise expression rampers sweep at slower rates than bloopers built in ramps? Yes. Very much so. Very much so slower. Like, way slower. So, like, we're in kind of a gap right now where there's a big gap in the loop, so. Not a lot is happening. Even in the waveform, you can, like, see. Nothing happening right now. But it'll come back around, folks, and that's fine. There it comes. Really? See? I'll unmute this. Yeah, that's what... Yeah, Aaron... I've heard that from Aaron and Dan. Yeah, the max sweep from... A, f a round trip sweep, so from zero to max to zero, can be 22 minutes. So like 11 minutes from bottom to top, or however your LFO is set. Which I think, I mean, blooper or any Chase Bliss pedal, I think the max for the built-in LFO might be... I mean, ten, 10 seconds max or something. Yeah. Oh yeah, Dave, if it seems like a scam, it is, absolutely. You're correct. Yeah, the, the Old Blood Expression Rampers, I mean, 
I, I've told them the way the way you can promote it is like, hey, you know that you know that dip switch nonsense those Chase Bliss guys have? It's all complicated. Hey, you forget about that. You plug in our guy. Not only can you do more with it, you don't have to root around the back of your dang pedal. You can have a longer LFO time, different waveforms, different shapes. You got one shot mode. Listen to me over here selling your products. It's true though. Hey Andy, Missy Elliott called. She wants she wanted to flip it and reverse it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> don't don't lob. <laughs> Whenever you come into chat, I just stumble over that word. It's so funny. Don't lop. Don't lop. The only thing that's funny anymore in, you know, the year of our Lord 2021 is, is words that are spelled wrong. Literally the only thing that's funny. That's it. Nothing else is funny. Everything else is ruined. The only thing that's funny are typos. That's it. Only typos are funny. <laughs> oh yeah, I've been, I've been talking with Joel. I mean, they they moved, they moved, they moved. That's a big deal. Yeah. So, well, Seth. Yeah, you're you're doing the thing. Yeah, Seth says. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, Andy, but Expression Ramper is not a full replacement of those dip switches, as it integrates and works with them. Yes. However. I will say when you have when you have an expression pedal plugged in to a Chase Bliss pedal, um, it deactivates the internal LFO because it's so when you have expression plugged in, the dip switches instead of uh, being your internal LFOs, uh, then are telling the expression pedal what it's controlling. I think that's correct. Someone could tell me if I'm wrong, but I think that's true so if you plug in a, an expression ramper to a chase plus audio pedal you will not be able to use the internal ramping and i think that's true someone tell me if i'm wrong typos are hilarious and hey my favorite typo typo negative Oops, accidentally hit command Q. Didn't mean to do that. Wait, what was Typo Negative's big song? They have a song called Christian Woman. What do you what are the lyrics for the typo negative song Christian Woman? Is this a bad idea to look at? Between her thighs, okay. Uh, Jesus, no, I can't. Why did I look at that? Why did I look at that? Unreal, absolutely unreal. Why did, I, why did I think that would be fine to look at? It's a rookie mistake over here. Anyway, <laughs> we're still recording uh, audio. Christian Mangle. <laughs> Ken, that's a good one. A priest, a minister, and a rabbit walk into a blood bank. The rabbit says, I think I might be a typo. A typo. 
I, I get it. You gotta add a T on there. Pretty funny. Pretty good. Man, this has already been a two hour stream. And all we've got is this crazy loop to show for it. And I'm just letting go. I'm muting. All right, what do we got here? I mean, it sounds cool. It's pretty dirty. Do I want to mess with it? a little more verb on it. Hmm. I'm gonna try to throw in some sunlight in there. Joseph just ordered just ordered an expression ramper? Hell yeah. They're really fun. Hmm. I'm gonna make the microcosms going forward now instead of reverse. I'm gonna do a reverse shark tooth thing. Turn it mix up a bit. Dude. Oh, we got the gap. We got the silence, folks. Here, unmute this. Unmute that. Time flies when you're flavor blasting. Man, picking up like inside jokes on stream is so easy. Like, if, if you weren't there for like a 45 minute span of the stream yesterday. You don't know why Flavor Blasted is a joke. But maybe that's okay. I mean, you know, it just means you need to stick around for all the jokes. Ken, do you not have a ramper at all? Because, uh, hey man, this is Podular. This is, this is pod racing. You know, you have to have one. Oh, Moon Unit says, I didn't realize Minim could reverse just the dry signal until a few days ago. That's pretty cool. I don't know if I knew that either. That is cool. <laughs> Peanut Butter Toast Guy, you like that? Yeah, Ken, you gotta you gotta get popular, bro. Like, what are you doing? And don't forget about popular, sir. It's popular. We're moving in a more popular direction. All the time. the original track again just to hear it oh no i didn't mean to stop recording damn it no oh, well. <laughs> well gotta do a little crossfade there folks that's fine it's no problem it's no problem at all i meant to do this though didn't mean to stop the entire recording 
Don't worry, it's ambient though. It's ambient. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You ordered, you just ordered two? Ken, you are, you're a freaking hero. Wow. You're waiting for a color blasted option? There's been some color blasted options. You gotta been you gotta be quick on them though. There's, there's not any color options right now, huh? Where's the ramper? There it is. Yeah, there's no special special guys right now. Oh, the banana blasted. You're not down with the banana blasted? <laughs> Freaking Ken. How much do I want of this realistically? There's we've got 22 minutes of it already. But here's what's cool is you can you can see the length of the loop, like kind of when it turns around. So from here, like what is that measure 65 to like measure 321 is the the length of the the loop, which is cool. That's a lot of. Well, yeah, it won't it won't sound like a loop at that point. I feel like that's super long. Maybe do some color blasts in the late fall. Hell yeah. We love those old blood noise color blasts, folks. turn up the output, but I could, uh, send the output of Blooper to Super Ego as well. I was currently just sending the dry signal to it, but and the output is all the way down, so we won't hear it, but if I turn this up, Blooper is being sent to it. And uh, whenever I feel brave enough, I'll turn up that output knob and see what it sounds like. What looper should I get that can do cool things and not just loop? Uh, I mean, I mean the DL4 can't. I mean, all the loopers I have here do that blooper. I mean, the things I'll say are maybe make people mad because of how much they cost. I don't know. I mean, microcosm. Yeah, and Seth, uh, the, inf the Pictronics Infinity 2 is one that I have heard good things about, but have not played myself. An updated DL4 comparison would be the Ditto X4. Um, I don't know. The X4 has the four channels, right? As opposed to the one on the DL4, but does it do the same effects? Does it do octave down and reverse and stuff? 
Yeah, and Ken's right. The, well, yeah, and that's what I was saying before. Like, there's there's top dollar loopers that don't have the the click pop when you come back around fixed, which is crazy. The boomerang doesn't. Like I was saying, the boomerang has that problem. The DL4 doesn't. They got it right so many years ago, and yet so many people still get it wrong. But yeah, I have heard good. I mean, you can play around the pop. I, I mean, I make it work. I mean, and part of not ever having your dry signal come through completely is part of it. Oh, this is a good chance time to turn up the output on Super Ego. See what we got. Since it's like a it's like the turnaround. The turnaround in your aim is long. Every eight minutes. Come on back around. There we go. Yo, I am still alive. What's up? Ooh. Listen to that. This is really cool. So we basically have a series chain of uh, Boomerang, T120, uh, Matrice, Mood, Gen Loss, Blooper, and then Super Ego. But then we're also hearing the Blooper output layered on top of the Super Ego output. You know? It's kind of weird. It's like parallel and series at the same time. out of this for now. Ken says, if I finally got on the ball and set up a Mirahaze Mira wiki at ambientguitar.org, would people contribute? What is that? What the heck is that? I don't know what that is. What even is happening? I'm muting. Here's what we're recording. That was actually a super ego hold right there. Mira Haze? 
I have no idea what Mirahaze is. It's an open source wiki engine. Okay. Sounds good. I'm actually going to turn off the blooper signal so we won't hear it, but Super Ego is still reacting to it. I'm going to mess with the threshold. As I bring it up, it should... react... more? I think? hold things. Hey, do you ever play rock like Guns N' Roses? Yeah, bro. I play Sweet Child of Mine uh, every morning. First thing I do when I wake up. This is a cool sound, right? Kind of? What is this? There it is in context. some more microcosm in there yeah joseph the flat light is on the super so yeah flat light is after super ego which based on the routing i have right now is like i said basic well so god boomerang t120 blooper mood no no, no. sorry boomerang t120 mood gen loss blooper super ego then flat light then Iridium and uh, Microcosm. What's happening? You gotta be a freaking NASA scientist to understand, you know? You gotta get a degree from NASA. That's a neat sound. I'm really into that. The sound is really cool.
It's gonna change at some point, but like when? <laughs> Can we take bets on when Andy stops the charading as his second Matrice? I won't get a- wait, no! I, that's a, that's on the way! Bob, it'll be Friday, you don't have to take a bet. It'll be Friday. I literally do want a second Matrice to replace the Parallel Mixer, yeah. This sounds really cool. Alright, bring back the backy check. DJ Lethal, bring it on. I like this a lot. Andy, how did you order a Matrice? Uh, well, so I'm I'm being loaned one by our, by our friend Ken in the chat, my second one, and uh, Ken. <laughs> Ken's helping me out. I'll just say that. Ken's been a big help. But th this this one I got a while ago. But yeah, I know they're I know they're uh hard to get. You just gotta watch the mailing list, watch the emails. Yeah, there's some really good sounds in here. <laughs> Ken has helped me make sure I didn't miss a Matrice release. What are these sounds? Really cool. I can make this get more wild by turning up the layer knob so it old layers don't fade away. Oh yeah, this song is in a definitely 120 BPM for sure. Oh yeah, Bob, pedal pedal buying is like those uh like trying to get an e eBay score like 10 years ago when you had like the snipers that would come in and outbid you in the last millisecond. It's like what it is. Alright, I'm turning this layer knob up, which might make things worse, to be honest. But I don't actually know. It'll just mean more things can be layered on top of each other. How much am I hitting the compressor here? Wait. the compressor pretty good. Could probably lay off a bit, huh? There we go. Let it breathe a little bit. Whoa. Sounds really cool. It 
look at how that waveform opened up once I rolled the compressor back. It's like it's like when you unbutton your pants after you've just had a big freaking meal, you know? You're like, I don't, does anyone actually do that? I don't know. Bob says, oh, I used your blooper ra filter ramping trick last night, and it was great. Yeah, filters are great if you if you're trying to cut up your loop and make it seem less repetitive, you know? Give it a just let the filter take your loop in and out for you. It's more interesting. Loops are more interesting when you remove things from them, folks. You heard it here first, or maybe, or not, I don't know. Alright, what if I turn the layer all the way down, so I do the opposite, so it doesn't hold... It only holds one sound at a time, here. This might be way better sounding. One step closer to not needing to play my guitar anymore. Yeah, that's the dream. We're all out here. We got these dang things, these guitars, and it's like, ugh. I guess I guess I gotta, you know, put my fingers on these these strings. I guess I gotta make sure my calluses are still still good. Meanwhile, it's 2021. Yeah, anything that randomizes the loop is really fun to me. Or, or makes it be perceived as random. Ooh, that's cool. There's some microcosm stuff popping in up there. Also, by the way, so what's going to happen here, the whole point, the, the reason we're all alive and breathing air is that I'm going to probably tomorrow take these two tracks and like mix and arrange them into something. And then if all goes well, I will release it on my Patreon page. And then this potentially could be a candidate for the first public release for the, the uh, Gentle Mental podcast. So, whoa. So the podcast, yeah, so this this is what I'm working towards right now, okay? So these recordings that are happening, um, which is, this is what I've already been doing on my Patreon before I kind of took a little break there was record stuff like this, edit it, mix it, arrange it make it somewhere 10 to 30 minutes long and then release it in on my Patreon to the private RSS feed there, which functions like a podcast. You can throw it in your podcast apps and just have these music, this music be available to you via that feed. So the, yeah, the additional thing I want to do is create a public version of that where that's, you know, available you know, on Apple Podcasts, and I don't know how you get on Spotify or whatever, but all the other places. So, some sort of subset of these songs, either an edit, like you get 10 of the 30 minutes, or you get every other piece on the public one, but then on the Patreon, you get all of it. That's kind of what it's going to be.
These sounds are getting kind of crazy. I need to do something here at the end to really change it up. Oh, that was cool. I'm gonna take the T120 out. I'm gonna turn the reverse off. Instead of the Super Ego listening to Blooper, which is listening to Mood, I'm gonna have the Super Ego listen to the dry signal. So now it might feel a little more coherent. then I could still turn blooper up and hear its output alongside of it. The auto bit is not uh, part of the path, Yannick. That's really cool. I like these sounds. Not a bit. <laughs> nice. Whoa, some actual guitar sounding notes? No way. How the hell are they coming through? I have no idea how the dry signal is coming through right now. To be completely honest. I don't understand what's happening, to be honest. gone for 50 minutes on this recording 50 minutes I think it'll change eventually
man, I just want to sit and listen to this. Yeah, it wasn't secretly Wonderwall under here. I think the clean signal I was hearing coming through before was just uh, microcosm repeating my signal like a minute later. So if I had just waited, the clean signal would have gone away. But I have the time set so long on the microcosm that it, it's hard to tell. This is really good. Is this art? Wow. Maybe, maybe it is. <laughs> Folks, maybe ambient is art after all. Maybe. Why not? Why can't, why can't ambient be art? I'm not using the microcosm looper, no. Just, just mosaic mode. That's rad. I got the gliss up on the super ego, which is why it's doing the rising and falling between notes. That's nice. Hey, Jammy Pants. Thanks for watching. Getting stuck just sitting and listening. It's really fun to like just hear what it does. It doesn't feel repetitive at all. Like, what's gonna happen? I don't know. I bet if I turn, I'm gonna do another move. I'm gonna turn the decay down on the super ego. That'll give it some more space. Because right now it's an infinite decay. This will give it some more space. One knob, folks. Usually it's like you only need one knob. It does sound like a woodwind. back now. Sorry. Dropped a little bit. See, now, we're, now we're in a, a gap, so we're going to hear nothing until Boomerang supplies some more sound again. And that was only because I turned the decay knob down on Super Ego, like, just a little bit. It was really filling in all, all the gaps, you know? 
The stream has been quite stable. I'm impressed with OBS for once. Yeah, and I think it's my internet too, because I got it. I made Comcast send me a new router. I think that helped. I don't know. I feel like you should be sitting here reading a novel. Yeah. It, it's funny because the sound is going to come back. Like, we're sitting here in complete silence. I'm sitting here recording this. Look. People will think I'm a fool. See? See, folks? Trust the process. I can say that, right? Tr hey, trust the process. I don't know anything about sports, but... Folks, you gotta trust the process. Oh, it just stopped recording on its own. Why did it do that? Why did it do that? Oh no, it didn't. It just never mind. It just jumped to the beginning. This is cool. Next stream, Andy's board plays generative ambient music while Andy builds IKEA furniture. That'd be a good stream. That would be a good stream. Do you have any videos on your Patreon explaining? Explain to her what you plug into after the pedal board, compressors, DIs, etc. I feel like I did somewhere. Um, but I mean, all all that's there is uh, these two plugins: the API preamp and the Fairchild compressor. Which I could probably crank this bad boy back up. A little bit. But yeah, th this is all that's on it. On the outboard or whatever. Whatever you want to call it. Another interesting sound would be, so now that the decay is rolled back, so the notes won't hold infinitely. I could let them layer more and see what that's like. There, try that. Try that! I just turned this layer knob up just a little bit from zero. Oh yeah, so Joseph, I'm using the UAD uh, Apollo 8 interface which allows you to have um, these plugins running on the DSP on the interface so it's not uh, bogging down my computer at all and it, it's like zero latency so it, it's basically like an outboard piece of gear and it's being printed on the way in so it's functionally the same which is really cool up more are they like the kind of chords that are building up because Super Ego is letting certain things that stack on top of itself. I'm gonna do it more. More layering. Let's let it go. Jamie, I've not tried the new, uh, new neighbor pedal. But I really like, I really like their, uh, sounds in general. I have the Immerse, I like it. 
I don't know. I don't know much about the new one, to be honest. I'm I'm pretty in love with the uh, the CXM here. Really, really like it a lot. I'm sure. I'm sure the uh, the new new neighbor thing is really nice. Gurgling bean man converts kitchen into pedal board. <laughs> Have you utilized additional VS VSTs when creating stuff? Um, but I've, I've I've often had to add in things like Valhalla Shimmer, different things when I dabble in it. I mean, yeah, I. So I think what's gonna happen tomorrow? Like we're still recording this just because it, whoops, because I'm liking the sound still. But tomorrow we'll like mix these together, and I'll definitely throw on. Yeah, some Valhalla reverbs for sure. I said new neighbor, yeah. New, new neighbor. I said it right. Um, but yeah, I use the the Valhalla plugs a lot. I use Sound Toys plugs a lot. The UAD stuff. But yeah, the uh, Sound Toys delays... Uh, well, no, the Valhalla, the new Valhalla delay is really good. And uh, Valhalla delay and Vintage Verb were my two favorites. Sound Toys Primal Tap, one of my go-to delays. Echo Boy's great, but I don't use it a ton anymore. The reason I asked is because I love Lexicon Reverb, uh, a la PCM92, and is there anything out there close to that? Well, I think... Someone correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't, isn't the, uh... The CXM based on one of the Lexicon units? Is that... I mean, wh what's the 1978 reverb? What's the Lexicon 1978 reverb? Oh my god. Oh, it's so the 224. So, oh, okay, so this is what the CXM is based on. Oh, and UAD has a version, I forgot, the Lexicon 224. This is a terrible website. Okay, here. Chase Bliss CXM 1978 is a Lexicon 224 and a pedal. There it is in the headline on the internet, folks. It must be true. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh, okay, so I don't know. I, I mean, I'm not a big, like, lexicon expert or whatever. But I don't I don't know what pedals are based on the... The PCM series. I don't even know much about the PCM. Like, I mean, what is a lexicon PCM 90... I mean, what, you said 92? How much is a, P, a lexicon P... All right. $2,000? Yeah. Like, what? what's the big deal with the PCM92? Is it just the amount of algorithms, or what? Also, by the way, I'm going to stop recording at this gap, because that's clearly enough. we got plenty of audio, folks. Too much audio. Uh-oh, we got a beach ball. Oh, we're good. Wait, no. We're not good. Yep, we're good. Amanda, I don't know why this MIDI got on here. What is this garbage? Delete. I can get reverb for free in my hallway. Bro, I can get reverb for free in my toilet bowl, okay? Oh, here comes the loop again. I was like, wait, what is it? It's the loop. It's back. Stop it. Yeah, so like what? So we got this and then we got... Like, yeah, if it, just real quick, I would be like, oh, what does this sound like? I'd be like, all right, let's 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 roll off the lows. Let's do something like that. Let's cut somewhere around 2K so it doesn't destroy our ears. Let's do that. And then we can, we can just throw a freaking Valhalla. No, no, no. Yeah, I'll do a Valhalla delay. We'll go into ping pong for maximum width.
roll off some low end on it. Uh, wow and flutter is pretty good. And then we'll put some Valhalla, uh, the vintage verb on it too. My favorite mode is uh, Dirty Hall in 1980s mode. I get a real long tail there, huh? Why don't we do that? Anyway, yeah. So that's like here. Here's before, after. I mean, you can really, you can really go with it. You know? I'm positive I get free reverb in my colon. <laughs> oh. One of these days I hope my heckling will go anonymous enough to become a comment. Yeah. Wait, right, let's let's get a comment going. I mean I gotta get off this stream. I gotta we're closing in on three hours. And I think that's gonna be it for me. Nightbot, give us a comment, will ya? Will you give us a comment? Will you do me a kindness? Old stool offling. Pretty good. Wait, I'll be there. Don't forget the crossfade. Oh yeah, I should do that crossfade real quick, huh? Yeah. Turn all that crap off. Let's do the crossfade. All you gotta do is overlap it like that. You press T A. And then you go, Psh, and then you're done. And it's over, and people don't even know. Anyone have any experience with Apatulator 8000? We've talked about it on here before, but... I don't have any experience with it. Shouts out to David for reminding me about the crossfade. Oh, you can't see it, but I just did this. See the... The gap already passed, you guys didn't even know. That's how good my crossfade skills are. They're immaculate. Good for relax. Alright. Okay, folks, I think that's gonna be it for me today. Somebody asked about a 24 hour stream a while ago. Oh, well, that, yeah, that Thanksgiving stream, I was like leaving it unattended. So Jan, the mood was doing uh, some octave up delay in that sound. So it, there was a lot going on. So mood was going octave up and then it was going into blooper, which was bringing it back an octave down. It was doing some, some weird stuff. But yeah, I was in slip, in slip mode on mood and I wasn't doing the micro looping. I was just doing the delay. So. All right, folks. Well, that's going to be it for me today. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, the streams have been really fun. I like having the green screen. I like the way everything is looking. I like the lighting. I like the way it sounds. How often do I do these live streams? I'm trying to do it every day, every weekday. I'm trying to be on here every weekday for a couple hours. Kirkland man drinks 32 pack of Coors Light by himself in preparation for 24 hour stream. No, but actually what, what would be cool is like, like, you know, all the, I've seen a bunch of streamers do su uh, subathons, which is, you know, so I could tie it to Patreon or, or whatever, but like every subscription adds, a, adds some minutes to the stream or whatever. So depending on how many subscriptions there are, you can control how long I stay on the stream. But that, it's a little bit of, that's a little bit of a pain stream though, right? Because, you know, part of that is inflicting pain on the streamer. I don't know how much I want to get involved in that sort of thing. You know? Well, you could tie it to Super Chat. Like, you gotta pay, you gotta donate for, yeah, that kind of thing. Anyway. A possibility, an idea, an unattended pedalboard subathon. I mean, that would be the best of all worlds. I'm just like down at a bar, you know, um, you can either do super chat, oh, I'm losing, I'm losing some frames here, hello, oh, 
Oh. Okay, are we back? I restarted the stream. Um. Yeah, I know it's I know it's dropping. I'm sorry. Um, Ken, I I I have figured out some things to do. Uh, I figured out that I've got some uh, stuff like that in the works potentially. Anyway, God, the stream it's dropping again. All right, folks, I'm sorry. Here, I just I just shut down OBS and then restarted it. If that fixes it, then then that's interesting. Oh yeah, so Ken, I figured out how to get things like that to control things on my computer. So like if someone subs on Patreon, I can make it do something in OBS. So I can have that integration. <laughs> yeah, at least this happened at the end of the stream. It seems like maybe if I restart OBS, maybe it's an OBS issue. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe once the stream gets over a couple hours, some, some memory leak or something is happening in OBS. I don't know. But anyway, I am leaving now. Thank you for hanging out. And tomorrow we, we will take these tracks and, and mix them and arrange them in some way. Make it sound cool and not boring. Okay? It could, it could be an OBS thing, Ken. I don't know. Maybe I need to clean up my OBS sessions. We'll see. Alright, folks. Uh, thanks for hanging out. See you later.